This Florida cooking segment is brought to you by Fresh from Florida. Remember, delicious is always served fresh from Florida. Florida Cove, your chef, good on the rod and good on the grill. That's right, and we're pairing it with Florida peaches, and we're going to show you how. Florida peaches? What? Cobia. Yes. We've never worked with Cobia before. No, we? we really haven't, and it's really a phenomenal fish, you know, and I kind of liken this somewhat to swordfish in the respect that it's it's a nice dense fish and so it's perfect for putting on the grill. Okay, good. And so what's next? Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what is this? Yes, this peaches? is a lot of fun. Yes. Florida peaches. What? Now these are really cool. These were developed at the University of Florida. They do some phenomenal work over there, but these are a low chill peaches. So these were developed specifically so they can grow in our climate here in Florida. Um, really good product. If you see these Florida peaches in your grocery store, give them a try. They are good. Okay, so we've got our grill pan on. It's over about medium high here. So what I'm gonna do is, what do we always do first? Uh, Pre-season. That's right, we gotta <laughs> pre-season everything. A little bit of olive oil. Okay. We got a little fresh black pepper and a little seafood seasoning or whatever your favorite seafood uh, blend seasoning might be. Ooh, so, here. Yeah, it's hot. So we're going to so go ahead and that's one thing I noticed. Place that down. When you put that fish on there, whatever you're using, you make sure that pan is hot. It's got to be hot. That there gives us a good sear. It's going to keep this fish um, with all the juices inside. So okay. it's just a great way to cook. And now, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to get our grill marks on this. Um, we're going to turn it and we're going to flip the fish. And then we're going to put a little of the peach sauce that I uh, already made on top of it. And then we're going to slide it in the oven and let it finish cooking mm. while we make our peach salsa. So that's how the peach comes into play. So what I did is I just basically pitted a peach. I added a little bit of Florida sweet pepper, a little sweet chili sauce, um, and I basically a little lime juice and I pureed it up in either my food processor, I like to use an immersion blender, and I made this wonderful little sauce. And it's a sweet, tangy, oh, yeah. a little bit spicy. Nice, it's got a little zinc to it. It does, it, it does. And this is really it. gonna go well with this Ooh. fish. So let's take a look at these. We got some nice grill marks already going. Man. So I've got my, my sauce, which can also be a marinade. I separated it into two different batches. Mm. I'm just gonna put a little of this peach glaze over oh, wow. before we put it in the oven. Ooh, -wee, that looks good, Chef. Yeah, it's smelling good. I mean, you could put too. this on anything. You really could. There's, I mean, there's so many cool things you could do with you this. Put it on pancakes. Yeah. This stuff is so good. Yeah. All right, so we're ready to get this in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to about 375. So you can put that whole thing in Yep, there. we can put the whole thing because it's cast you iron. You got yeah. me? Yep. Throw it in there. In it goes. I'm excited about this Kobe. Oh, no, it's exciting. It's a seasonal fish, too. I mean, it is. It's only here for a certain time, and then it's gone. Absolutely. You know, when you see that, you need to buy it. And that really speaks to buying seasonally available produce. We want to do that with all our produce and fruits and vegetables. So it's important to understand our growing seasons. And one of the best yeah. ways you can do that is go to freshfromflorida.com. There you'll find all kinds of wonder information on the growing seasons as well as recipes, all kinds of great stuff there, so please visit. Well, the fish is cooking. We can okay. go ahead and make our peach salsa. So I'm just kind of oh, dicing these up. Sweet. Put them right into my bowl here, and then we're gonna add some fresh cilantro. Okay, I'm just gonna roll it up. In that goes. We're gonna work some key limes in here as well. Such great flavor and packs in this little, tiny little fruit. So I've got a little sweet red pepper here. And so we really have two similar ingredients, just in different ways. We've turned one into a sauce and one into our salsa. Because the salsa works better right on the fish like that. It yeah, it's just going to give us some different textures as well. I got you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That looks amazing, Chef. I think it's time to plate up. I'm going to take some more of my beautiful peach sauce that we made earlier. I'm just going to kind of work this around a little bit. I'm going to take some of my beautiful peach salsa. He works in layers. In the center there. Let's go ahead and get how, our how fish fillet. Which one do you want here? This one. This one. Should come right <sighs> off. Look at that. So we're just going to lay this right on top there. We've got a little extra salsa. Let's just put a little bit on top here. There you have it. What do we call this, Chef? We have our grilled Florida cobia with Florida peaches. Mm-mm-mm. Chef, tell them how they can get mm. this recipe. For this recipe and many, many more, go to howtodoflorida.com. Mm. Amen. This Florida cooking segment was brought to you by Fresh From Florida. Remember, delicious is always served fresh from Florida.